All right, we're good. Okay, good morning. We'll call this meeting to order. This is the Columbia Open Space Committee. We need to add one time. Uh, we're starting at H03. Three. Okay. Uh, do I have a volunteer to take minutes? As we approach secretary in some. I would have somebody with only a pencil to say. Thank you, Chris. Okay, I would like to add. Um, uh, an, an agenda item to um, old business, and that would be um, the uh, winery event plan after at, at the end of old business. Uh, Is that agreeable with everyone? Do you do that by motion, Anne, or are you just by uh, uh, chair sure. you can do it? No, I, I move that we add um, my event to the agenda. Is there a second? Oh, second. Okay. Thank you. All in favor? Yeah, um, okay. Anyone against talking about the one? No. Good. Okay. Um, uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of uh, March 18th and May 5th, which got lost on my computer. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Any discussion? Corrections, petitions. Um, um, favor. A, qu a question. Um, sure. In the minutes, it mentions uh, Friday, May seventh, and this says May fifth. Um, but it could have been. It was. It was a Friday, correct? And what, yes. What date was Friday? Uh, two Fridays ago. Um, Okay, I stand corrected. This is the minutes for May seventh. Okay, with that correction, all in favor? Post extensions. So, okay. Uh, audience of citizens, is there anyone who would like to speak um, about anything not on the agenda? Uh, Madam Chair, Wes Wentworth uh, from Lebanon, Connecticut. Uh, I see you have an agenda item concerning um, the planning and zoning meeting this coming Monday and under that item, will you be discussing the Hop River subdivision open space proposal or? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll wait till that agenda item then. Okay. Very good. Um, Wes, was there anything else on the agenda that you wanted to hear about or? No, I was I was just here for the uh, the Hop River subdivision open space proposal. That's it. Okay, and um, uh, at at the hearing, we're hoping to um, to gain uh, to add to the open space set aside the um, the. Uh, the stone archway that the tail race exited, exited. We're hoping to work out something where we can add that to the open space set aside. Yeah. And, I... um, we, we did informally talk 
about that. Mm -hmm. uh, we accidentally met you. Uh, <laughs> I know. <it's>... Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we were out there to look it over to see where stuff was and and the whole thing. And you were not at all prepared to meet us out there. And so, um, uh, you know, we we were looking and you were listening, but, you know, um, you know possibly decide anything out there. Sure. So we were hoping to go round on that at the hearing. Yeah. Uh, would it make sense or, uh, to take that matter, the PDZC hearing May 24th, out of order before the executive session? Uh, right. That's what I'm. Yeah. That's what. I, that's, uh, what you're doing. that's what I've actually done. Okay. <laughs> because uh, right after this, Wes, we're going to go into executive session. So we will wish you a good morning at that point. <laughs> I just wanted to know, you know, if you had anything to add before we kicked you out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm sorry, I'm confused. Are we going to dis discuss the open space now, or I, I don't know where we are on the agenda? I'm sorry. Okay, um, we'll just flip that around if Honor can. Hold on. Good morning, Honor. Good morning. Okay. So, um, do you, uh, Wes, do you want to go round on this now, or do you want to wait? Yeah. Um, if if now would be appropriate, I could. Um, we've revised the map. I don't know if you've received that. We submitted it uh, a few days ago, um, and it and it did change the open space. Uh, it's increased it versus what's was originally submitted with the subdivision application. I could share that on a screen if if members don't have a copy of that right now. Yes, uh, because I did not receive that. Okay, I, I don't know if, if I have permission to share a screen. I'll give it a try here. Is that coming up right now? Can you see a map? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, let me get. Well, just to orient everyone, I'll go back to the full full map. Uh, north is up. Route 6 is at the bottom of the map. Uh, Hop River Road runs along the left side or the west side. <clears throat> and Hop River is along the north property line. So that's the, the center of Hop River is the property line of this parcel as it is now. Also the town line with Coventry. Um, this parcel currently, and when I say this parcel, this is the whole uh, 23 acres, more or less, has frontage down near the river along this area. And then there's a parcel out of it right here that's not currently owned by here. And then there's frontage along here. And lastly, there's some frontage on Route 6. So this parcel here, um, which is the brick house if you're driving down, is not part of this subject parcel. This is that cleared field with a small garage on it, no house on it. Uh, now we're formerly of Gamash, that's also not part of this. So we have three houses being proposed in this area on the, on the central western frontage of Hop River Road. There's a large wetland system that comes down through here. And there's some uplands and some nice area in here. That's where that old mill site sits. Now, under that upland area is a stone tunnel or archway or sluiceway with a tail race that comes down, and that's what this cleared area is, and that connects all the way down to the river. So what we're trying to do is meet our open space obligations. 15% uh, minimum is required by the subdivision regulations. So we're, we're giving a little over that at 3.6 acres is being proposed right now with all this frontage on the Hop River and all this frontage of access. And that would all go, we're proposing that would be deeded to the town of Columbia. What we are keeping is 25 feet of frontage here so that this lot three would own all this big wetland area. And then the farthest east frontage, I would estimate that to be uh, maybe 200, 250 feet of frontage on the Hop River. 
Now, that house won't be able to have direct access across their mainland because of this large marsh system. And so what we're doing is we're going to allow them to come out to the, down the street, enter through this 25 foot area. And that sluice way, <laughs> my cat's here, excuse me. Um, my sluice way, the uh, sluice way would cut off access if we were to give that stone arch to the town. So there'd be no way for them to, to get to this. So what I did is we, we adjusted this open space here. So we have about 14 or 15 feet between the top of the stone arch to the proposed property line with the town. That would allow them to have upland access. And then about, we were out there walking, I would say it was 15 or 20 feet of width between the sluice way and the property line. So essentially this lot three owner could come via Hop River Road and down through here to get to their, their river frontage. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. I understand the town's interest for historical reasons to own the, the stone outlet and the, um, the tail race, but what it would do is it would effectively cut off access to the owner of their own, of their own frontage on the river. So that's, that, that's the, the hurdle we're faced with. Uh, with that proposal. Um, Wes, the um, open space set aside, um, should the town accept it, um, would be open to the public mm -hmm. so that the property owner in question would have complete access to their little piece over there through the um, open space? Um, it, there could be issues with that. Um, should they need to get any uh, vehicles or equipment in for maintenance, which would be a permitted activity, obviously. Um, there could be issues with access over open space. Um, I, I look at it this way, that the Town Planning and Zoning Commission allows rear lots in, in, let's just look at it from the other way. They allow rear lots in the town of Columbia. What they don't allow is landlocked rear lots with access over easements because there are issues sometimes between landowners. Now, in those cases, you have one landowner in the front, and one landowner in the rear, say a rear lot owner and let's say it was a landlocked rear lot and they exist around. I've, I've dealt with those in uh, either lots of record or uh, in other towns that allow zero frontage. And that front landowner would allow an easement over that, you know, say, say that open space area. The reason the Planning and Zoning Commission doesn't allow that in Columbia is because in, inherently there's problems with that. When you have to access your land over someone else's land, um, it can be complicated. So when I've dealt with this, say with rear lots, there's one landowner in the front with an easement over their land and it gets complicated in the town hall. With the town open space, you have how many residents in the town of Columbia, let's, I assume somewhere either side of 7,000, that could make this 7,000 times more complicated for this landowner to get to their land um, it, because of that access if they don't own it themselves. So that, that, that's my hesitancy is because uh, um, just uh, any, anyone in town hall has been working planning and zoning and, and land use issues and had to answer the phone when the, when you need someone to access their own land over someone else's land. Uh, if it's not a, a, a deeded town right away, um, inherently you're, you're, you could be creating some issues. Anyone else have comments? No, no, he explained that. Uh, they were, out there. were you able to move that pin? Yes. Uh, yeah, this, this map on the screen reflects, let me zoom in a little here. We did two things. If you recall right here where my cursor is, where this line went straight before and this line went straight and they intersected right here. We, we moved that over and moved this back uh, and got it as close as we could to the top of this tail race right here. Uh, the second thing we did is we were, we didn't, by mistake, we didn't quite meet the minimum 15%. So we added approximately 150 feet of frontage on the Hop River to the east. So the, the open space has been extended easterly about 150 feet from what's staked out there now in the field. So 
those are the two changes uh, that this map reflect. I have a question, man. Uh, I don't understand uh, your point that says the population of Columbia would have access mm -hmm. to the, that area, the open space area, how that would affect access to the property owner getting to his property. Sure. If, if some type of maintenance for equipment need would, uh, would that would require equipment to come through there, um, just because you have access on the town of uh, Columbia open space, um, it's inherently assumed to be on foot only. Um, I know there's proposals here um, that what you're thinking in the future, should this go through of having vehicle access, car access for parking and such, which is fantastic. But if, if this person needed to get down here and do some type of maintenance, uh, be it trees down or I don't know what in the future. Again, whatever they do there would have to be permitted with the town, but how would they gain access down to that point? Um, that's that's the problem. Um, yes, I assume then you adjusted this, uh, there's a 25 foot access all the way down that property line on yeah, the north it, side of the sluice foot. Yeah, it's, it, it's as staked in the field, more or less, which I believe was around 20, 25 feet when we when we paste it off. So that would be on the south side of this open space property line. There's about 20 feet between this property line. And this. Okay. Well, we got our access now with the movement, the movement of that pan. We yeah, have, that gave us the yes. center of the road. You're, you're actually, when you're on Hop River, you can actually, there's literally a drive straight down. Right. Uh, now, which is now open to open space. Uh, I have a question. Uh, so this right of way will go between the archway and uh, our property line, which looks to be about 25 feet. Right. Um, if he's driving his equipment down there to get to utilize his land, which is in the back corner, is that likely to damage or um, do anything negative to that archway? Because that, we're interested in preserving yes. that primarily. Yeah, uh, not in my opinion. Uh, it's about fifth right between that archway and this property line. I minimized it as much as possible to provide the town all the space they could have uh, through that area. But it's about 15 feet right now between the top of that archway and there. Um, any vehicle that would have to go in and out of there would be on the average of six. A small tractor would be five or six feet wide. Um, anything full size would be at eight feet wide at most. Um, so that would leave over seven feet to the to the face of that archway. So um, we're we're not talking about regular repeated traffic by any means. It's just a a, a simple means of access um, should it be required. Well, they're not going to be able to do any construction back in there. There won't be any heavy tractors. It would be. Um, yeah, it's it's whatever would be as of right with the town zoning regulations. That entire frontage um, in. Uh, uh, along the uh, Hop River is all within flood zone. So any there's it's it's not like you can just go down there and start building a structure or doing anything like that. Everything in that area is within 150 feet of either the Hop River or the Sluiceway. So no activity unless it's as of right could happen without a wetlands permit. So pretty much anything happening down there needs to come into the town um, for for any permitting. Uh, any any activity other than the, you know just uh, it's it's been brush hogged recently. Um, there's no big tr we we saw one big dead tree down there that would be on this land that needs to come down. Um, aside of that, maybe some brush hogging for ac for access, but that's about it. So maybe it wasn't such a good idea to move that line up over quite that much because it got us a little close to that archway. It is tight, but I we we looked at it pretty closely even after the uh, this commission was finished or the, the members of the commission were finished with their open uh, uh, site walk. I went back down, looked at it again, just to make sure we weren't creating a monster or something that wasn't suitable. So I, I really pinned it in and uh, I, I'm very comfortable with that, um, both as an engineer and, you know, uh, 
uh, grown up in a family of, of, of construction equipment. So um, on, on the practical side of things, uh, I've, I've my whole life been running heavy equipment, agricultural equipment, et cetera. So um, it's, in my opinion, from both points of view, it's, it's, it's suitable to, to get in there. Well, I can see what's going to happen is that if you have to bring heavy equipment down there, you're going to be going on the town property anyway. I don't think you'll want to bring heavy equipment right next to the sluiceway. That, that could be, and that would require permission from the selectman's office to do so. Which brings you back to the point, why can't we just, the town just agree to do that? Well, because say they need to do that, they have to go ask the selectman's office and for whatever reason, they could say yes or they could say no. But Wes, do you have uh, someone interested in this particular lot already? I, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I don't uh, have it listed for sale. I'm just the engineer on this one, <laughs> even though I am a realtor also, but no, I'm, I'm not involved with any, uh, anybody for that. So I, I don't know the answer to that question. From on our sidewalk, we accidentally met someone who <laughs> okay. was very excited and said, no, no, I have an option on this. Yeah, that's not his area. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, my point is, in, in another <clears throat> location in town, another person was trying to sell a lot similar to this in that it was a building lot with a huge wetland att uh, attached, you know, as part of it. And for decades, they could not sell it because the person didn't want to pay taxes on all that wetland. Mm. And uh, they just wanted a house lot. So uh, I'm kind of questioning, um, do you want to, do you really want to attach all of that water to a house lot? Um, that I have discussed with the owner, who's my client, and also the applicant for the subdivision. Um, uh, the answer to that is yes. Okay. Okay, well, uh, thank you for the update. And, uh, well, thank you very much for uh, hearing me today. I appreciate your time. Yeah, and we'll see you Monday. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks for moving the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Um, we are going to go into executive session and, uh, or I move we go into executive session. At 826. At 826. And I would like to invite uh, Mark Walter and Honor Law to join us. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good morning, Honor. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Um, thank you for joining us. Um, we're very curious. Uh, we haven't seen you in a couple of months and what's going on. Uh yeah, well, I've I've been can you guys hear me okay by the way? I'm in a basement in in the recording. We're recording. Okay. <clears throat> Comments on PCC uh, hearing on the 24th. Comments on, um, on Hot River Road. I guess my opinion would be that you don't want to push too, too, too hard on this archway that Joan wants to bet with because this guy could throw up his hands on this subdivision because that party that came out when we were walking wanted the whole thing, thought he was buying the whole thing. We could lose this piece of wonderful, wonderful open space by pushing too much. So, I mean, you can make, you can make, 
the presentation. I think he was clear the day we walked that you had to provide a right of way to that lot, to that, to the back access to the river. That's just the way the owner wants it. And it's his property and it, he's paying for the subdivision. And uh, I mean, if we push too hard and he thinks that there's no flexibility or something, I mean, he could go to that one on and say, bye, sell my subdivision. I'm not gonna do a subdivision. That's that's what I'm concerned about because that guy, this guy showed up when we were walking and apparently thought he had an option to buy the whole thing, and had already done some test pits in the past. So, in the way back, in the no, the whole piece of the proposed open space. No, the whole four, the whole four lot subdivision. Yeah, this one guy thought that he was buying. It. Or at least a large piece of it, and was getting access, the whole access to the river. In fact, he wanted to, he initially wanted to put a house right on the foundation of the old house. <laughs> um, so, but this is, I, I mean, those of us that, that walked it, this is a gorgeous piece, and you have, you know, you'll be able to launch a kayak right into the Black River. river. The, um, that marshy area, I unfortunately missed the walk, mm -hmm. so I didn't, I didn't observe that. Is that marshy area uh, amenable to being walked over to the riverfront property? No. He said, Wentworth said no. He said it's all swamp in there. You can't walk. He said it's all swamp. And it's, it's all swamp. And and also, there's a very steep hill there, so that if he wanted to access that back to the lawnmower, he couldn't even get down the steep hill. Uh, that goes into that swamp. And he said the only way that person gets their waterfront, their riverfront parcel is back along the edge of, of the old um, secondary solution. Yeah. What, what, again, I missed the meeting. What are we losing by this? What is the town losing by this new uh, easement recommendation that we heard about today? There's there's a little archway. There's a there's a second sluiceway where the, the water you know was bypassing the mill. Yeah. And uh, there's this nice little arch. Because under the road. It, yeah, and Joan is in a more with it. But you know, there's not much to the sluiceway. It doesn't add much to the property. Uh, I, well, we already have one sluice way. Yeah, we have yeah, yeah. the main, main, the main, main. secondary open source sluice way. Um, that basically stands. I mean, uh, and but it, um, the, the little stone of arch is what she's primarily trying to protect. And, right. Uh, so we, I assume there must have been two water wheels at some point. Well, but so I see it's a feeling that we're not giving up much. No, is that no. how everybody's? Yeah, take a yeah. I want to go back and take a look at it. I missed that part. Hard to Yeah, so if you look at this, that pink dot is the arch. So that was clear from his presentation. Yeah. I, I thought I had a picture of it, but I think Joan took that out. That's the thing we were talking about. So it's a picture. This is the situation here. Well, Chris mentioned two arches. No, it's just one arch. It's, oh. it's an underground pipe that comes out to a little stone. It's a small thing. I mean, yeah. about this big. I mean, it's, it's a pretty little thing, but it's, it's, I don't know, it's buried there. Right? And then if, if they owned from the arch down, they'd have to fill in a ravine to get a vehicle over. So it's a lot easier for them to own from the, the arch 15 feet than from the arch. Yeah, I, I would, if I were them, I would say I want from the arch north. Yeah, for my access. Yeah. It makes no sense because he needs the access. The other thing that, that Joan initially wanted was that whole secondary loose way. Like, in which case, he couldn't get to his land at all. Um, and so since we're going to have that, that right away along the sluice, sluice way, um, uh, 
the sluiceway is what's unique about this whole property because that shows how the mill worked. No, we already have the sluiceway. We, have, we have the main part of the, the main, main, the main, the main right. sluice. That wouldn't be a problem. No, 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 right. no that's the that waterfall through that. And, okay. <laughs> I agree right. with Paul. This, the access to the river is our main interest. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah, and there's a beautiful view of that area. Oh, launch. Yeah. You got a picnic area, boat launch, canoe launch. You get two there. And this parking. And it's already right. nice easy and flat. Yeah, easy parking. Yeah. Yep. Where they had the pin the first time would have been, we would have had a lot of work because if we would have had to move some rock and trees, fairly good sized trees. But by moving the pin, we get the rope. Yeah, I like the way it is. Yeah, yeah we were so lucky that you showed up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, by the way, can you change this? <laughs> he said, sure. Any bad next to yeah, you taste it off frontage on the water. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's amazing. You got an extra 150 feet. That whole line moves down 150 yeah. feet. So we get more water. We have more, more, more river, more, more river front. Yeah. yeah. I have a nine o'clock. I will sleep. Yep. I'll run it. I do too. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you need from me? Um, yeah. The ram, where is the ram? So there's Tungsis and um, so Tungsis, Paula is still working with David Ram. David's okay. still finalizing the lot he's going to sell. Yep. Off that. So okay. until that happens, we're we're and all in agreement that it will happen. It's just happening. Okay. And Wells Woods. Wells Woods. Uh, I'm sending the signing contract from the town back to David for his. Signing once that's done, then we'll have Great. So that's in the works as well. Okay. We're going to take the swamp. Yes. Great. Well, yes. Yeah. The swamp off Tungsis, but David Rain has to finalize his where he wants to come back from where, where, where he's cutting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And old business, Wellswood trails, we essentially talked about that with Autumn. So we don't need to recash that and net and trail stay. Um, Columbia you views. Thank you. Thank you, Ron Word. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, for yeah, yeah. writing and Columbia views. It's a start. Yeah. Oh, I'll just knock that off. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And the next couple of views, I think, will be um, on hunting and second our open space. And um, that went through. And I think Mark is going to write that and he'll outline where you can find and how you get a permit. Go oh, on there. Yes. Right. Um, so that I, I think that will take care of uh, the next Columbia view. So be thinking about November. Um, Thanks for having me take that as well. Oh, okay. Just a second. Is that what the article is going to be about? Yes. Because um, we don't have a management plan. Or the yep. other, right. so you can't offer it. Yeah, that's going to be revisited. It's it's been and it's all set. I wrote it into the management plan update and for the selectmen authorized it. You know that was voted down at the town meeting. Oh, no, I agree. I'm just saying it was addressed at a, uh, was it a referendum or it was at a town meeting? I mean, I would be in favor of it, but I'm just wondering, would you need a new town meeting for that? Not just going through. Uh, no, 
because really we didn't need a town meeting for it the first time. We just, did it. we just did it. The yeah. court selectmen have the authority to approve the management plan. But we went to town meeting last time because the board was uncomfortable with making that decision. So they deferred it to town meeting. This the town, time, meeting town meeting was about the management plan and that aspect of the program. Specific. Right, it was. Uh, okay, uh, the winery event. I walked over to talk to Nancy. Uh, yeah. The wall wasn't there. Nancy was there and she took all the information down. Um, October 9th, 3 to 6, we have the winery reserve. She did not require a deposit. They know who we are. What's it going to cost us? Um, she did not know that. But it's, October 9th. Okay. Yeah, Saturday. Good work. And I said, call back if there's a problem. She had to call back. So, sure. so everything is set. Okay. Um, we, we need to. We should confirm it. Yeah, I'll get back in touch with Walt. Yeah, the question I have is their, their house is for sale. Yes. Yeah, they, they, they built way in the back, I guess. Oh, on that property? Uh, most of the vineyard, I think so. Like way in the back. Like going oh. back over to um, Randazzo, where that entrance is on. Oh, the, sec the other entrance at the town. Yeah, somewhere we gave. Okay. They've been building a house, and now they, oh. now they put there somewhere. So they're separating the house off from the rest of the property. Well, yes, I think it's 25 acres going with it. But yeah, there was more than that there. there. Yeah, there was more than there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay. Uh, yeah, see if you can... I'll, I'll get a confirmation. Right, yeah. Because... It's kind of important to know how much money okay, we've got to come up with. Uh -oh. Okay, and uh, um, here's here's our homework. We have to we have to get lots of people to come to the winery on October ninth. Okay, that's that's. Our job is to get people. A month ago, they had a uh, update and a contribution thing at the winery for the Andover Lake Association. And they had to turn people away. Walt was out in the street telling people you can't come because there are too many people at the winery. They had filled up the entire road all the way down to the winery on both sides. With cars. <laughs> what was this? This was a Andover Lake Association uh, oh. uh, fundraiser. Fundraiser. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Were they giving away million dollar lottery tickets? Or I don't know. <laughs> they were turning people away. There was no more parking. Jeez. So uh, I'm going to uh, uh, talk to this Nick, this Nick Hoffman. And I'm assuming he's going to help us, you know, set this up, you know, kind of move it. So we'll have some help there. Yeah. But he doesn't know anybody in Columbia. And except me, I guess. <laughs> and um, I was hoping he could come today so we could all meet him. Um, but next month. And then, um, so our job is to chalk this up and get people there. Um, the other job we have is when they set the town meeting in July, we have to staff that town meeting and make sure we get 
all of our supporters there. Like we have done in the past, um, we've gotten what 98% vote, if not 99. So we have to do that again because all it takes is for us to get blacks and for the naysayers to outnumber us, and we could lose an important piece of property. That's the risk. Hopefully, they'll be on vacation. Hmm? Hopefully, they'll be on vacation. Yeah, they sure. <laughs> <laughs> They're just waiting. They're just waiting. sitting in a week. It's waiting. <laughs> okay. Are we in commissioner's comments now? We are. Don't leave. Don't leave. I got to go. I'll, I'll, hang on just a minute. I'll be as brief as I can be. I don't want to come off as a grumpy old man. <laughs> However, and I do not take this personally, but I am adamantly against canceling meetings. Um, I think in the past, in years past, we had nothing to do. I think there are all, there's always something to do here. And I will bring three things to your attention. One is I joined the Charter Revision Committee specifically to try and get something done about open space. Well, I failed. <laughs> they tossed it out and said, you got to go to the Board of Selectmen and do it through ordinances. The, the ordinance that the land acquisition Fund references from the state says that there shall be that if you have the uh, town has the option of having a open space committee. If it does, it then said goes on to say there shall be deposited into the land acquisition fund such, such sums as the town from time to time get to the reference. Shall is connotes a mandatory action. Am I right? I mean, it's, well, there's a word after that, may. Well, okay. <laughs> so, but this is something that I think is going to take the subcommittee, and I think we're going to have to work on and come up with a presentation to the board of selectmen. But I, I have been in favor from the very beginning that we need to have an annual contribution to open space from the town. You remember my comment about that? One dollar could be the contribution. Well, we need to work on this. <laughs> You know, we need, and we need to be prepared for answers like that. So that's that's a lot of work. I mean, that's going to take a presentation. It's going to take some discussion. The second thing that I think we have to address at some point is we have a vacancy on the board. Mm. We need to talk about that at some point. And then lastly, something that never comes up is we have no plan in hand for Camp Master One. And that, every time I'm out swimming and I'm looking at that expanse of woodlands on the other side of the way, I think about it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's probably a good thing that this church didn't suffer more and put it on the market this year. They are logging right now in there. Yeah, I know, that's the other thing. We went out for um, Easter morning service. And yeah, it's just longer. But I think that this committee at some point needs to have some kind of a plan that should be given to the site one that I mean, you know, that's your imposition that if all of a sudden they say we're getting rid of this, we're done. If I may briefly about 10 years ago, uh, we approached the uh Astawana and I met with the uh, chair of the church and um, we were just requesting the right of first refusal uh -huh. which is pretty um, I don't know the same line it's, it's pretty non yeah, yes. and, and they want to go down even that way really yeah um so it's something to pursue i guess uh but they just weren't interested well I, they the church or they the or the uh oh no the church uh um, the, 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 the chair of the federal the church is a federal judge very i mean 
he listened and uh, I just uh, I think we got a letter from them that's in the file. Uh, no right of first refusal. So I, I don't know what it would, would produce. Uh, Paul, well, I, I'm just saying that the town hall has a plan in place. You know, that we, we ought to try and help the selectmen have some kind of a plan. But if in fact it came on the market tomorrow, what are we going to do? <laughs> you know, my concern is that it will go on the market and we won't know about it. Because the town won't know about it. That it'll get sold before anything gets done. Yeah. Well, that's, maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's, we ought to be touching base on a periodic basis. Hey, we're here and yeah. we want to be first in line. I, I don't know. But these are things that take time to discuss and work out. You ever think he's ever in the domain? Okay, I'm done. Okay, those are your comments. So you would like to, that, uh, you know, if we take action, you know, it's one thing to say, this is what we should do. Okay. Hereby, number one, I promise I'll never pants for it. Okay, number two, a subcommittee. You want to form a subcommittee? Yeah. For, for, um, for getting a regular contribution yeah, sure. to the fund? How do you yeah. feel about that? Uh, my feeling is that whenever we needed money it's been there even though we don't even know when open space is not funded and i know most of the people feel it should be a yearly contribution it hasn't been necessary the town has always come up well the money but the money we've been working on folks was this this there there was money allocated for the luparelli purchase Yep. Years ago, we've been working off that two hundred thousand dollars ever since. I mean, a little bit of money, like this where did that come from? Well, it was approved by the town. The town. Yeah. When he had, we actually, I don't know how, but somehow or another, we got the purchase of the Lucarelli property, and that fell through. So we had about two hundred fifty thousand or something dollars in this fund, in our fund, which is what we've been working on, even, even. Uh, the Robinson, the little Robinson piece, the thirty thousand dollars or whatever it was, you know, that came out of that. So it's not like we keep yeah. going back. And and the Graham property will be paid for from that plus a few. Yeah, nobody nobody's given us money. My point is that if we needed money, that general fund. It's never been, it's, it was never um, used before. A lot of people are opposed to putting money yearly um, in the budget for open space. Um, and I don't know how I can mm -hmm. just you experienced that. I mean, they've said that. I just, uh, well, the fight back, I said, yes. I mean, so, the current leadership that we have. Sure, yeah. it's the amount of money is it that will be contested. I mean, the we, power, the power is not going to bother. We have made this request many, many times to, to, to buy back a certain amount of the way. And, we, and sometimes it sees that it's like putting a few thousand bucks in, but then they take it out. Mm -hmm. um, and they never put any substantial amount of money in. So the current leadership that we have now the town, I think, is sort of beating a dead horse to try to get them to put a substantial amount in to make a difference. Well, the, uh, the, way, the way in the charter vision that they said to approach this, is the board of selectmen or the one that would be or the yeah. ones that man that rewrite the ordinances mm -hmm. and that you go in and you, you, you modify this open space land acquisition fund? But hey, we're we're a committee. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying we could spend a whole session talking about this. In terms of what we want. I'm not saying that this is what we do, but. I'm hoping, yeah, you know, to, I mean, this is what came out of Charter Division. 
there is an ordinance that they may be right. There is an ordinance that says five taxes of rent should be due. That the ordinance goes back and we never used it before in the purchase of sector. Yeah, no, that's it. Never, never used it. Um, during Carmen's uh, uh, term, they discovered the ordinance and now they use it. So I agree. If you want to get that out, you have to go to the select. So mm -hmm. it, it, uh, um, a uh, 10 year plan is not going to be able to get that out. Mm -hmm. You have to have that. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. Do ordinances have to be approved in that moment? Jeez. I don't think so, Chris. I'm not sure. No. I don't no. think so. No, so, right. I think the board of selectmen can do that. They, if they wish, they can ratify it at the town meeting. An option that they have. You're saying they and, wish. And I'm not a I sit in back with every board of selectmen meeting. And that's what we keep. Mm -hmm. That will just. I'm Paul's right. It should be discussed. Right now, we're not getting it. Okay. Well, so, the board is a good way to do it in front of I don't think they can see that in the window of opportunity from the two words of social media. Okay, this this will be on the next meetings, Jen. So um, do do your homework, I get it together. It. Anybody want to help you? Okay. Sure. You, Chris, Chris is down the road. He can't get very far. <laughs> I keep trying to get my ass. <laughs> you know, just putting it on the agenda, they make with his tackles. You know, some people. Can we address it under the commissioner's comments again? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're gonna if you're gonna go to the board. Well, let's have some more general discussion. Well, just, just general, despite we're having it right now. Right? Okay. And, and try and get a I'll sense of something cryptic like open space funding on the agenda. Not too cryptic. Not to undermine Paul, it's the only side where they write the meetings and then the cases and so on. Summertime, sometimes forums are right. Well, that, that's, 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 a right. So, uh, that's a different sense. If ever how long you're actually right. violating the road, she cancels it all in this meeting and the road takes you or something. Yeah. Well, we're all in big talk. Sure. Okay. Um, but you could always attend. Answer? Yeah, that, that's another thing. Yeah, like, um, honor was on big talk. That's right. Up here. So I move we adjourn. Okay. Motion to second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Okay. Good to see you guys in person. Yeah. Knock on this door. Let me tell we're done. Done. Not go. Not done. This fancy new office here. Can you accomplish it? Well, I mean. <clears throat>